Good afternoon, everybody. Really, uh, really great to see so many people here today on this special day. I'm Bob Sullivan, the mayor of the city of Brockton. And uh, before I ask Father to come up here, and before I, uh, before I uh, have the national anthem sung, I'd like to acknowledge the elected officials that have joined us here today. We have, of course, Senator Mike Brady. Senator, thank you so much for being here. Representative Jerry Cassidy is here. Thank you, Representative. Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Azak is here. Councilor at Large David Texera. Councilor, thank you for being here. Councilor at Large Rita Mendez. Councilor, thank you very much. Ward 6 and our City Council President Jack Lally. Thank you, Mr. President, for being here. We have Tim Sullivan, who's the Ward 7 School Committee member. Mr. Sullivan, thank you so much for being here. At this time, I'm going to ask the esteemed uh, chorus to uh, please sing the uh, United States of America National Anthem. That was wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do want to thank all the uh, city employees and school employees that have joined us here as well. Thank you very much. And more importantly, I want to just thank all the uh, dedicated Brocktonians and members of the church congregation and business owners that are here today. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Father Romano to please come to the podium and say a prayer to open this wonderful event. Thank you, Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you shared your whole life in order to redeem us. You have said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. On this auspicious day of the Annunciation, on which we celebrate your incarnation through the Holy Spirit and Our Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, we give thanks to you for your gift of freedom. And we pray especially that our respect for freedom peace and life will prevail in the world. Directed by your command to care for the least of these, may we and all people heed your call to show care and concern for the lives of the poor, the oppressed, the suffering, the sick, the elderly, and the dying. May your peace reign in our hearts and throughout the world. 
especially in places of unrest, so that the shedding of blood in warfare, violence, terrorism, tyranny, and all manner of strife may come to an end. May aggression between neighbors and nations fade away. May love reign in the lives of families. May we become partakers of your abundant life, together with your blessed mother and all the saints whose lives have pleased you from the beginning. We pray to you, O life-giving Lord, to hear us and have mercy. Amen. Thank you, Father. And before we conclude today, we'll hear uh, some other thoughts from Father. And welcome, Father, welcome. So I'm, I'm just so privileged to be here today to celebrate the wonderful Greek community here in the city of Brockton. The Greek community has just done so much in our city of champions over the years. Really, really played an indelible mark in our city as a whole. Uh, educational pursuits, architecture pursuits, business pursuits. I just um, I'm so excited to be here to remind all those in attendance here and those watching on TV uh, of the great, great, great accomplishments from our wonderful Greek uh, residents uh, currently and those that have passed that have gone on. We are so grateful that on this day, 200 years ago, the Greeks fought valiantly against the feared Ottoman Empire and became an independent nation. We remember those who fought for the freedom so many years ago and may their sacrifice never, ever be forgotten. We are grateful for the thousands of Greek immigrants who left their homeland to settle and work here in Brockton, the city of champions in the 20th century. We are grateful for those wonderful Greek families that settled here in our city in the neighborhoods of Allen Street, Linden, Haverhill, Walnut, North Montello, and Warren, Warren Street. We're grateful, so, so incredibly grateful for the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, which was a fixture and has been a fixture since 1917 in our city. Again, it first started to uh, hold mass in just a two-story home on Spring Street and further growth led to the completion of the beautiful complex, beautiful church on Oak Street which officially opened its doors when I was a young lad in 1986. On a personal note, I want to say how wonderful the Greek community has been to my own family. When my grandmother came over here from Ireland, she worked at Peter's Lunch. She met Chris Zaganis at that time and then she, when she was able to make enough money, she bought 15 Dover Street next to Charlie Savas's at Hallmark and Savas's Variety. And I can tell you, every time my Nana would take us over to see Bessie and Chris, he would always proudly say, my dear Irish friend, O'Sullivan in the gold room, O'Sullivan in the gold room. And I just remember what a special time that was. So today we come together to remember all the hardworking, dedicated, great residents and business owners here, but we also have to remember that this is a solemn day. This is a day of, of independence. And when we come together, we must always remember, and I see so many of the children walking here today, we need to always remember the history and teach the history so it will never be forgotten. So when we come together and we proudly hear from Father, and we'll be hearing from George in a couple minutes, VP of the Parish Council, at the end of the day, we need to continue to share the stories of the Greek population, not just in the city, not just in the Commonwealth, but in the United States of America and the world as a whole. So at this time, I just want to say thank you for being here today. I would ask Mr. George uh, Panagalopoulos, Vice President of the Parish Council, to please come to the podium. Good afternoon, Father Romanos, Caranos, Honorable Mayor of Brockton, Robert Sullivan, Honorable State Senator Mike Brady, Honorable State Representative Jerry Cassidy, elected officials, Bill Kafka is President of the Greek Societies of New England. The 25th of March is a very important day for the Greeks and the Greek nation. It is the day that unites us and fills our hearts with pride. We honor all who fought bravely and that sacrificed their lives to give us an independence 
and respectfully, respectfully homeland. A homeland that we love, defend, and continue to help so that our mother homeland remains her glory and greatness. Today we also celebrate the Annunciation of the Holy Theotokos. Our forefathers chose this day to emphasize and connect their brave fight for freedom with their for forever love for their religion, asking the Holy Mother of God and protect their request. Today we honor heroes of 1821 that fought tirelessly and bravely for freedom. We're here in the great and historic city of Brockton, a city of many cultures and traditions. With the Greek Orthodox community, we're proud to be a part of a fa faithfully mosaic. We are the first, second, third, and even fourth generation of Greeks are proud to be a part of a community, and we will all together side by side for a greater and brighter future. We're proud to be American, Americans of Greek descent. Σήμερα χαιρετούμε τον κύριο Βασίλη Καυκά, ο οποίο είναι ο πρόεδρο του ελληνικού των ελληνικών σωματείων τη Νέα Αγγλία. Η 25η Μαρτίου είναι πολύ σημαντική για τον Έλληνα και τον ελληνικό έθνο. Είναι η ημέρα που μας ενώνει και γεμίζει τη καρδιά μας με υπερηφάνεια. Τιμούμε όλους όσους αγωνίστηκαν γενναία και αφαίρωσαν τη ζωή τους για να δώσουν μια ανεξάρτητη και σεβαστή πατρίδα. Μια πατρίδα που αγαπάμε, υπερασπιζόμαστε και συνεχώς βοηθούμε ώστε η πατρίδα μας να τηρήσει τη δόξα και το μεγαλείο της. Σήμερα γιορτάζουμε επίση τον Ευαγγελισμό της Αγίας Θεοτόκου οι πρόγονοι μα επέλεξαν αυτή τη ημέρα να τονίσουν και να συνδέσουν το γενναίο αυτό αγώνα του για ελευθερία με την ένθερμη αγάπη του για τη θρησκεία και ζητώντα από την Αγία Μητέρα του Θεού να ευλογήσει τον αγώνα για την απελευθέρωση του ελληνικού έθνου. Σήμερα τιμούμε του ήρωε του 21 που αγωνίστηκαν ακούραστα και γενναία για την ελευθερία μα. Εμεί εδώ στη μεγάλη και ιστορική πόλη του Πρόκτων, μια πόλη με πολλού πολιτισμού και παραδόσει. Εμεί, η ελληνική ορθόδοξη κοινότητα, είμαστε υπερήφανοι που είμαστε μέρο του όμορφου πολύπλευρου μοσαϊκού. Εμεί, οι πρώτοι, δεύτεροι, τρίτη και, τα, και ακόμη τέταρτη γενναία Έλληνε, είμαστε περήφανοι που είμαστε μέρο τη κοινότητα και όλοι θα, να συνεργαστούμε μαζί για ένα μεγαλύτερο και λαμπρό μέλλον. Είμαστε υπερήφανοι που είμαστε Αμερικανοί ελληνική καταγωγή. Ζήτω 25 Μαρτίου. Ζήτω. Ζήτω η Ελλά. God bless America. We uh, we have a an important guest here today. I would ask Mr. Vasilios Kafkas, Bill Kafkas from the Federation of Hellenic American Societies of New England, if he would like to come to the podium and say a few words to those in attendance. Mr. Kafkas. Thank you. Honorable Mayor, distinguished officers from the city of, Boston, of Brockton, Senator Brady, friends of the Greek community, Philhellenes, Kyrios Kekiri. Today, we celebrate the 201 years from the beginning of the Greek Revolution. It took eight years for Greece to be recognized from the rest of the world as a free state. Those eight years, many fights happened all over Greece, in the islands, in Crete, in the mainland of Greece, everywhere. Greece is the country that thousands of years ago created the civilization. The Greek language is on every computer. On your computer, you will find the Greek language, the alphabet. It's the land of Plato, Aristotle, 
the land of many scientists. We came to this country and we brought with us many things from the Greek culture, besides the Greek food, of course. Today, on this beautiful day in Brockton, we celebrate Greek independence and we look forward to transfer our values about humanity and civilization to our children and grandchildren. I invite you all, Mr. Mayor and everybody else, to participate on this year's Greek Independence Day Parade that is going to take place in Boston on May 1st at 1 p.m. Thousands of Greeks throughout New England that will be there. And we will be honored if you come to the parade and celebrate with us. Zito Yelas, Zito Yameriki. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kellis. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to invite our uh, state senator, Michael Brady. Today, he's Bradyopolis. Please come to uh, the podium, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for hosting this, and thank you for everyone coming out today. You know, we, we mentioned the history of this country and the history of Greece. Greece is where democracy was founded, and, and we're grateful to all the input from all the Greek community and the community in Brockton and all across our country. And we must never forget that freedom is not free. As 1821 was the anniversary of getting their freedom from the Ottoman Empire, but also the Greek community fought against the Nazis who tried to take over Greece and take over the world, and then the Communist Party. And a lot of our forefathers fought against the Communist Party when they tried to infiltrate Greece. And we have to remember for all these countries suffering, like the people of Ukraine, that the unfortunate, uh, they're trying to take over that country. So we have to work together, and that's what America is all about, coming together today. I am a very honored for everyone to be here, freedom to assemble, and everyone to, that supported all of us, because none of us does this job alone. We work as a team in the city of Brockton, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and forever grateful from my heart for all the support from the Greek community in Brockton. So God bless you all. Zito alas. Zito. Thank you, Senator, on behalf of the state delegation. Now I'd ask the Council President, Jack Lally, on behalf of the City Council, if you'd like to say a few words. Mr. President. Hard to go after Senator Brady. He's our... He's our uh, the, the, the orator that we have, we hold in highest esteem. But uh, I, I just, you know, want to thank, you know, the mayor for, for having me up and, and for, the, for the Greek community for coming out and for coming out in such a force. Not a lot of, not a lot of groups, um, you know, can, can muster numbers like this. And it's, it's really great to see that, uh, you know, that pride and that unity. Um, I think Brockton is, is much for the better to have you know such a vibrant community such a, a group of people who, who care so much about about you know the United States and of Greece um, and you know we we are where we are uh, because of because of the Greek community as, as a country and as a city so I really do appreciate you having me up here and I can't wait for uh, <laughs> to, to crack open all the food thank you At this time, I proudly am going to read a proclamation that I would like to give to Father. Whereas on March 25, 1821, Greece became an independent nation after defeating the Ottoman Empire, and whereas the ancient Greeks developed the concept of democracy, which vested in the people the supreme power to govern, and whereas the founding fathers of the United States of America drew heavily on the political experience and philosophy of ancient Greece, which formed our representative democracy. Whereas Greek Independence Day recognizes the 201st anniversary of the independence of Greece and celebrates democracy in Greece and here in our United States of America. Whereas our vibrant Greek American community has made tremendous contributions to the United States, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and our city of Brockton. Whereas this month and throughout the year, the city of Brockton is extremely proud to celebrate 
the contributions of Greek Americans and encourages citizens to learn more about the pivotal role played by the Greek Americans in our city of Brockton. Now there, for I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today, March 25th, 2022, in our city of Champions as Greek Independence Day. And I truly urge all residents in the fine city to join me in observing this day and recognizing the wonderful contributions the Greek culture has made to our community and our city as a whole. And I proudly present this to Father on this day, the 25th day of March, 2022. Father. Αξιότιμε Πρόεδρε της Ομοσπονδίας Ελληνοαμερικανικών Σωματείων Νέας Αγγλίας, κύριε Βασίλη Καυκά, It is a great joy and honor for me to be here for the first of what I hope will be many years of celebrating Greek Independence Day in the city of Brockton as the presiding priest of the historic Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. I have been the pastor of this beautiful Greek community for less than a month, but I have already come to love it, as I am sure I will love this diverse and culturally rich city of champions. Today our community joins all Greeks around the world in celebrating the 201st anniversary of the Greek Revolution. We celebrate the uprising of a proud nation against a foreign oppressor, an uprising that was born out of the freedom-loving spirit of the Hellenes, but was also inspired by the American Revolution of 1776. When the Greek War of Independence broke out on March 25, 1821, America rejoiced. In the words of Greece's national poet, Dionysios Solomos, with a soul-born love outspoken, greets the land of Washington, glad that she her bonds her broken, that her freedom she has won. But while we're celebrating today, our joy is darkened by the clouds of war in Ukraine. As Greek Americans, we loudly protest the brutal aggression against a sovereign country and stand in solidarity with our Ukrainian brothers and sisters who, like the Greeks of 1821, are fighting for their independence. As Orthodox Christians, we mourn the loss of so many Russian and Ukrainian lives, the expatriation of millions, the bombing of hospitals, schools, churches, and mosques. As Greeks, we especially mourn the destruction of Mariupol, a city with a strong Greek heritage. Today, Christians around the world celebrate the greatest news ever told to humankind, the news that a humble Jewish girl would become the gate through which the creator of the universe would visit us in the flesh. One of the cities dedicated to this girl is Mariupol, Mariupoli in Greek, city of Mary, named by the Greeks of Crimea, who were forced to settle there in 1780, bringing with them their treasured icon of Panagia Odigitria, Our Lady Who Points the Way. This morning, we heard in the news that 300 dead bodies were found in the rubble of Mariupol's theater. And the city is now being reduced to dust and ashes. And we grieve, and we know that the city's patron, the Virgin Mary, grieves with us all. Αγαπητοί συμπατριώτες Έλληνες, συμπατριώτες Αμερικανοί, συμπατριώτες Ελληνοαμερικανοί, σήμερα το ελληνικό έθνος γιορτάζει. Είμαστε χαρούμενοι γιατί γιορτάζουμε την διπλή γιορτή μας, την εθνική εορτή της εθνικής πανηγενεσίας και την εορτή του Ευαγγελισμού της Θεοτόκου. Μετά το τέλος της Θείας Λειτουργίας, αναπέμψαμε δοξολογία προς τον Κύριο και στην ευχή που διάβασε ο Ιερέας σε όλες τις εκκλησίες μας, ευχαριστήσαμε τον Θεό για το δώρο της ελευθερίας και ζητήσαμε από τον Θεό να μας αξιώσει, να είμαστε πάντα άξιοι αυτού του δώρου της ελευθερίας. 
και αξιωνόμαστε του δώρου της ελευθερίας όχι όταν καθόμαστε ήσυχοι, όταν επαναπαυόμαστε στις δάφνες του ηρωισμού των προγόνων μας και στην ωραία και καλή μας σημερινή ζωή, αλλά όταν συμπάσχουμε, συναγωνιζόμαστε για το δίκαιο όλων αυτών οι οποίοι σήμερα βρίσκονται υπό την πότα του κατακτητή, όπως κάποτε ήμασταν και εμείς ως ελληνικό έθνος υπό την πότα του Τούρκου κατακτητή. Γι' αυτό δεν νοείται να γιορτάζουμε σήμερα και ταυτόχρονα να μην πενθούμε και να συναγωνιζόμαστε με τους ομόδοξους αδελφούς μας Ουκρανούς. Your Excellency, we are truly honored by your gracious hosting of a ceremony that celebrates the supreme value that unites the American and the Greek nations, the most precious gift that God has given us, our freedom. Let us pray that freedom and peace may prevail in Ukraine and in the entire world. Zito Yelas. Zito. And God bless America. At this time, we're going to proudly go over and, and put the uh, Greek flag up uh, proudly here at City, City Hall. And I know that the Greek national anthem will be sung at that time as well. Again, if we can give a round of applause for the chorus, that was a fantastic rendition. So we truly thank you all for being here. God bless the city of Brockton. God bless the Commonwealth. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the United States, and of course, God bless the great country of Greece. Thank you so much. Jim, how are you doing today? Doing great. It's a beautiful day here in Brockton. Yes, it is. Today is a very remarkable day, the Greek Independence Day. The Greek flag raising here at yep. the city of Brockton at City Hall Absolutely. and I would like to know how do you feel about this event? I think it's spectacular we had a great crowd the mayor came out we had some of our officials from the states we had uh, representatives from our church we had of course Father Romanos who is our new priest in Brockton at the Annunciation Parish and a lot of kids a lot of adults a lot of people, we had a great time. It was a great afternoon, great weather. Can't ask for more. Yes, this event was very remarkable. What, but my question is this, out of all the activities that went on, what stood out the most to you? The flag raising, definitely, that got me. It's touching to see the Greek flag, right? Every nation stands by their flag, but I, I think as Greeks, where we have a lot of pride in our heritage and to, to see it here, in Brockton City Hall. It's, it's touching, it's touching. Well, Jim, thank you so much. Father Romanos, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. That's good. I just want to say thank you for coming here uh, for this special flag raising, the Greek flag raising in celebration of Greek Independence Day, which is the 201st anniversary. And I would like to know, how do you feel about this remarkable event? I feel uh, like all the Greeks uh, around the world uh, feel today uh, very proud uh, for the uprising of the Greek nation, of the uh, freedom-loving Greek nation uh, on March 25th, 1821. Uh, we celebrate, it's actually a double uh, holiday for, for us. Uh, as Orthodox Christians, we celebrate the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, uh, which is exactly nine months before Christmas. Uh, but we also celebrate uh, our war of independence against the Ottoman Empire, and this is just a very beautiful event. 
Yes, it is indeed a beautiful event. But my last question is this. Out of all the activities that went on, which moment stood out to you the most? I would say the, the singing of the national anthems because this is just, uh, you know, uh, uh, a way that uh, we proclaim, we show our love for, for our country, the, the American uh, national anthem and, and, the, and the Greek national anthem. Um, while I'm very happy and all the Greeks are very happy today, at the same time, uh, our joy is clouded by the war in Ukraine. And I, I'm, I have to mention this uh, because uh, we, we cannot just be standing on the glory of our uh, of our heroes uh, and of the people who fought for our war of independence and not support those who are also fighting for their own independence and of course I'm referring to our brothers in Ukraine. Well I appreciate the support that you're showing to the community and also to the community of Ukraine. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the city of Brockton and for the Greek community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father.